since we've learned a bunch of very simple concepts like what a PDF is, what a CDF is, what is a box plot, violin plot, bivariate analysis, etc. Let's do a simple exercise, right? We've done this on Iris dataset, right? I recommend you download something called Haberman's Cancer Survival Dataset, right? Uh, you can download this from this Kaggle link. Again, Kaggle is basically a website where a lot of companies have competitions. Uh, they, they provide their data sets and they ask people to compete to solve a problem better. For those of you who know what is a top coder for programming contests, Kaggle is like a great place to get brilliant data sets and to understand how some of the best data scientists and machine learning engineers in the world are building their models. It's a great source. I recommend you create, uh, to download this data set from this link, you might have to create a Kaggle account, which I strongly recommend. And because we'll keep using Kaggle data sets uh, throughout, throughout this course. And thanks to Kaggle for building such a great platform where um, where uh, machine learning engineers and data scientists can compete and learn from each other, right? So in this data set, what I want, I want this analysis to be as follows. I want it to be very similar to how we did it. First thing I want is basically how many data points are there? What are the features? What are the number of classes? How many data points are there per class? And also understand what each of the features mean. We understood what a petal and what a sepal is, right? So it's always important to explain with domain knowledge or at least get a little bit about domain knowledge. You can Google it up and you'll get lots of references on what the on what the basic terminology means. Also clearly explain your objective in your exercise. Uh, after you explain your objective, perform univariate analysis like PDF, CDF, box plot, volume plots, etc. to understand which features are useful towards classification. Always please don't forget your objective of trying to classify. This data set is very interesting because it has a bunch of features and it tells whether a patient would survive a cancer treatment or not. So it's, it's unfortunate for those people who couldn't survive it. But again, healthcare is a great place where machine learning can have huge impact on lives of millions of people. And this, this is a very interesting, it's a simple data set. It's not a very large data set, but this will give you a gut feel about things like um, how to do PDF, what to interpret. And whenever you plot any, whenever you make any plot, please write those observations in English in a very crisp language, in an unambiguous language, and always quantify your results. Please try to put your results with numbers. You can say, I see that 25% of data points have a value of less than 1.2, or 75% of values have a value of less than 1.6. So it's important to quantify these results because that way we get a sense of what's happening exactly. You can't say, I see more points uh, which with a value of 1.6. No, you can't say that. You have to quantify your results. Also, in addition to univariate analysis, also perform bivariate analysis by doing scatter plots and pair plots to see if combinations of features are useful in classification, right? Just the way we did in Iris dataset. And this is a very simple exercise, which I think most of you could solve in a couple of hours. And we have all the source code. So for example, if you, if you look at this, I will share, um, uh, I, I hope all of the students get this, uh, uh, we will anyway put on the website, you'll have all of this, uh, you'll have this whole IPython notebook, but instead of just copy pasting code, which, which certainly is something that you, you could do. I've seen a few students do that, but instead of doing that, I strongly recommend you understand what the code is. Play around with some of the, some of the functions, understand what they're doing, and please, please do write your observations in simple English so that it's easier for us to correct and evaluate your exercise. Also, it's important. See, in the real world, that's what you do. You do data analysis and you come up with summary of observations or conclusions that you got. And um, this shouldn't take you more than more than a couple of hours of effort uh, because it's a small data set. You can quickly you can quickly perform this analysis and looking forward to seeing your exercises. Thank you.